given the name Samson after a lighted discussion between the parents and there was a trade-off because when my father suggested Samson because of his attributes which we know my mother suggested the middle name of Kwanda which was the name of her maternal grandmother so that's how we came to have Samson Kwanda he went to school at Ikhuliri Primary School and after passing the primary examinations, he went to Professor Andrew Miller Secondary School, Shikoko, where in 1992, he passed exams and proceeded to the University of Nairobi, Kikuyu campus, who, where in 1998, he graduated with a bachelor's degree in business studies. Sami has also studied professionally. He has a human resource management postgraduate diploma from the Kenya Institute of Management. He had also enrolled for a master's degree in journalism at the University of Nairobi. And although he had deferred for two years, he had convinced me that he was working on his dissertation concurrently with another dissertation he's doing on corporate communication at the United States International University. Sami married Margaret Kidumbi in 2005 and their marriage was solemnized in this church in 2018. They are blessed with three children, the lovely Lucy Mumbi, Rachel Mary Schneider Nziani, and the handsome Alan Mkwanda. The couple have lived happily until Sami started ailing. Sometimes in March this year, he complained about stomach upsets. And the family took the initiative of taking him for outpatient management to establish what was the cause. When his health was not improving, they took the decision to have further tests. Those tests were done at Lancet, at Medihill, and at Akaka. So it was established that Sami had cancerous sprouts on the spine. Uh, they call it the spinal thoracic vertebrae. And he also had big clots of the same, same cancerous sprouts in his liver. So by the time we were taking Sami to Kijabe Mission Hospital for admission, his liver was virtually dead. So what doctors have done for the last six weeks was simply to stabilize him, hoping that miraculously, perhaps, the liver could reboot. When I visited Sami in hospital in Kijabe, I passed greetings from his children. That time, he was still able to utter a few words. He told me, tell my children, itarudi kwa nyumba. It is sad that rudi kwa nyumba perhaps meant coming to bid farewell to the house of God. So, from Kijabe, we took Sami to the private wing of Kenyatta National Hospital because there was a hepatologist who had convinced us that he could do something after studying the test that had been done on Sami. So he's been there for two weeks. 
But five days before he passed on, he started having problems with digestion. He lost appetite, couldn't speak, and then it was just there. One and a half hours before Sami passed on, on the night of 15th of July this year, myself, his wife, Margaret, and my two brothers had visited him in the evening. And we found that his, although he had eye contact with us, he could not connect our identity with his brain. So we could see the eyes, but he couldn't connect with us. So we talked to the nurses to establish whether they could do something for him. Because all the food that had been put there since morning was just piling up, but he wasn't taking it. So reading the body language of the nurses and their questioning faces, I read a message that the call was near. So when a message came through our text, uh, our, our phones at uh, around 4.30 a.m. in the morning, that we were required at Kenyatta very early in the morning, I knew instinctively that God has recalled us. It took the nurses nearly three hours to come to the meeting room where they were supposed to brief us. And when they came, in the usual circumlocutor's manner of medics, under such circumstances, they informed us that my brother was not there. He had gone to rest. So Sami is resting, and from the homily that Father has given us, I believe the day of resurrection will come, and all of us will see him, not tearfully, but joyously. I would invite us to read Sami's detailed theology tributes in an online copy that I've shared with some members of the church. I hope everybody will get copies. Those of us who are on those platforms where we've been sharing ideas on how to uh, move this agenda forward, I already have um, some eschology. That is the much I can say about Sami. My brother, it's tearful for me to read your eulogy. It's even harder for me to write it. Just want to request, I know in our tradition, we do the offertory just after the, 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 the creed, but for, for in this period, we are not doing it at that time. And so for all of you who came ready to provide, to give some, some offertory to the church um, as part of our normal tradition, I want to give you a few minutes now the choir will lead us in one song. You can come forward. There's a box here and another one at the back. Let us just do that very, very, very quickly, even as we just now finish and uh, move to the last part of the recession. Kuyo, ndugu yangu Samson. Amekuwa rafiki yangu sana wa karibu. Nako tukiongea na yeye. Na haswa tumekuwa marafiki kama wenye wanajumuiya na jua. Langu kwa familia nikuwapatia pole zangu na hawa mapadri wetu mungu uh, wapatia nguvu ili mweze eh, kushida haya majozi masomo yetu siku ya leo katika somo la uh, gaspa wa ya leo ilikuwa inasema juu ya yesu ilikuwa napamunulia watu juu ya mpanzi ambaye alikuwa anapanda begu Samson nilimfunza catechism 2018 <tos> 
Ulini wacho mi bila faham Kuwa ni yako zamu angalau Unge nyambia eti unakamu Nitulize hamu wangu wa thati Hey, tama zangu zime ni kwa mia Mikono Natamani kujua what your plot is at a landlord upena notice akima ulana ingilia kati peace ni expensive but worth it kwa nini uliamua kutangolea that yangu ime change tabia kulea usingizi na kutamani kushoto kulia unakuja lini ni tabasamu utena una ni tenda ile kuchukua sijui nani alimtuma maombi ni ati wakati rudi nyuma jioni nikirudi nikupate kwa nyumba jiji zimeshikana ni ngumu kuvunja but kauna raka nenda kwanza niko na ibox sijalala na usalimie maulana ili salama salimu maulana jaona Chairman, wetu wa Simak, bana Patrick Shituko, kwa uongozi wako mwema. Sami Kinanake alipiitwa kwa mjomba kwa mama. Bile bile ni mjomba wa dada. Kwa hivyo Sami ni mjomba mara mbili. Mimi Andrew Shramani namwombea Mungu amjalie mema mahali ya adabu. Asante sana. Asante sana cousins wote mko wengi naomba muinue mkono tu kwa heshima ya Sami. Asante sana. Na ni ujungu mkubwa. Alikuwa rafiki yetu sana. 
alikuwa karibu nasi lakini jambo kubwa tunasema utuombe na muendelee kutia familia nguvu na muombe watoto wake pia asanteni asante yeah, sana you have gone to school mnajua jinsi mambo yanavyoelekezwa asante sana kwa ya naomba tuingize shangazi wasenge Zagira, Zenane, Wane, Zenane, Wane, Amalala, Nova Biriba, Amalala, 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 Mere Kurira <laughs> Some <laughs> Walo <laughs> University of Nairobi Wanafunzi ambao nisoma na Sami Marehemu mwenda zake Sami Yo hapa Hata mimi na kumbuka nivuwa mwena shikoko Sifu Yesu Kristo, mimi Patrick Madekwa, mimi Vice Chairman of Mali Union, tulikuwa pamoja kwa changlio, changlio ya ni matanga ya Sami. Kwa hivyo, karibuni wote. Asande sana Patrick. Kwa kilisha Mohali Union, kikundi kikubwa sana. Wako wengi kule Nairobi, wengine wako hapa. Uyo ni Vice Chair. Mohali Union, Patrick Madekwa, mime uita ye mutuenje. Avene, ndio hawa. Kikundi, jangufu kabisa. Kiko ngozo na bwana justice, mise makabila. Mzifu uh, Yeso Kristo. Wa umbolesi, walo wamekuja kusaidia musipa ya bwana Samson. Mzalimu kwa jina ya yes, habari zenu. Ya, kulingana na programa, tutaenda kwa mambo mingi. Tuko grupu ya watu 20. Uh, 22. Samson, ya alikuwa sekretari wetu. Tuna, atijui kama tutajasa hilo pengu. 
na mwenye kitu wetu ni bwana Geoffrey Saji mimi na kuanga mweka zina treasurer lakini nimechukua chukume ya chairman juu kwa vile hako hawezi aka akaongoza mbili ya matanga na yangu na combine pia ikisema wakati tulikuwa Nairobi tulipounda kamati ya matanga kamati ambapo ilihakikisha sami amefika huko mimi nilikuwa mwenyekiti na wazaji akiwa secretary wa hiyo ma committee na bwana Jacob akiwa mweka zina okay ili hii group inaitwa vene e group ni kuunda miaka kama kumi iliyopita wale wamekuwa hapa mwali wamekuwa wakituona tumehusika kwa mambo mingi ya shule kusaidia watoto na hasa ya welfare ambapo ya ya watu wa huko kila mmoja wao hata kwa kusema jina juu hatuna nyafasi watamsalimia tu kwa kuwea mkono wana wana vene salimieni mali Ah, sorry. <laughs> kuwa na mengi lakini tunaomba tu Mungu aweke sami mahali pema. Tutamkosa. Tutaomba huyo huyo Mungu atupatie sekretari mwingine ambaye atajaza hilo pengo anawacha. Kwa majina na hilo justice makabila. Asandeni. Asante sana Avene, kikundi kikubwa sana. Avene Bulala. Kwanza mimi naitwa Mundi Bonfas ambaye nilikuwa chairman wa kikundi ambacho kilikuwa kinakaa huku kupanga uh, mipango ya uh, matanga hii. Angependa kwanza kabisa kushukuru kikundi ambacho kilikuwa Nairobi kiongozwa na uh, Justice tulifanya kazi kwa pamoja tukashirikiana vizuri. Ah uh, ningependa pia kushukuru uh, wana familia hii na marafiki wa familia hii ambao walikuja tukakuwa nao pamoja tukahakikisha kwamba uh, Sami amekuwa na send of 